The Build Back Better Act is our best chance, perhaps our last chance to save the climate from disaster. And it will have the benefit of showing the world that the United States is finally willing to enact big, serious policy change. Climate change isn't a future crisis, it's a present crisis. We're living through it as we see these deadly record heat waves, as we see more frequent flooding and storms. If you think it's bad right now, you think 2021 had an exceptional level of extreme weather events, you don't want to live through what's going to happen 10 years from now, 20 years from now, if we don't reverse the pace of climate change. Our window is shrinking really, really fast. Uh, and the Build Back Better Act is bold, it's immediate, and it will have the benefit of showing the world that the United States is finally willing to enact big, serious policy change, uh, which I think will inspire other countries like China, like India, um, to make big changes themselves. If President Biden goes to Scotland without the Build Back Better Act being passed, without the investment in clean energy that the Build Back Better Act has, he's just not going to be as credible a negotiator with uh, these developing nations as he could be. Our uh, task is to pass the Build Back Better Act as quickly as possible because the climate's not going to wait for us, but we also have to pass it soon to make sure that when the world's leaders meet in Glasgow, Joe Biden can talk about this historic investment in electric vehicles. He can talk about the payments that we're going to make to electricity providers uh, to get them to give up fossil fuel production. He can talk about the uh, Civilian Conservation Corps, the thousands of young people that are going to be going out there and helping to build renewable energy projects. Uh, we need to give the president this tool with which to convince other nations. I was meeting with the Indian ambassador just earlier this week, uh, and he pointed out to me that while India may eventually pass the United States when it comes to total emissions, in the United States on a per capita basis, we still release more greenhouse gases uh, than India at a rate 12 times higher. So the United States being only 5% of the world's population, but about 20 to 25% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions um, just robs us from the ability to uh, try to get the Indians or the Chinese or other nations uh, to make significant sacrifices. The Chinese need to uh, end the production of coal power plants they need to begin much more quickly their conversion of their main power source from coal to renewables. But that involves some amount of money. And the Chinese look at us and say, you're asking us to make this massive short-term expenditure to convert from a coal-based economy to a renewable-based economy. But you're not willing to do your part. You're not willing to enact a clean energy future for the United States, how on earth do you expect us to do it? First and foremost, a national security issue because um, Americans get killed uh, in these extreme weather events. But climate change is a national security issue for other reasons. So as we see more serious storms, as we see more droughts, especially in underdeveloped parts of the world, that breeds instability, that creates the conditions for civil conflict. So climate change 
is making other parts of the world, specifically parts of the world where there are extremist groups that have interest in attacking the United States, um, more unstable. Climate change is creating political instability all around the world, and that's terrible for the United States. If we want to figure out how to regain our credibility around the world, then we have to pass the Build Back Better Act. We've got to show the world that we recognize the seriousness of the global climate crisis and the fact that the United States is one of the primary contributors to it. So we can't lead on other issues if we're not leading on climate. Nobody's going to listen to us uh, when it comes to pandemic disease or a counter China strategy, um, unless they see us leading on climate. So the key to regaining America's sort of global reputation is climate leadership, is the Build Back Better Act.